females sort of classify themselves based on their race of what they're supposed to look like. It's not exactly set in stone, but it's more or less like how society has evolved to make them look. Is society to blame for an ideal image of beauty? I interviewed students at a Western New York high school to get their insight. Boys and girls alike, they all have their own input about society, media, how they impact a young woman's life. Does the media create molds for young women to have them try to fill? Many times people, individuals in my race look up to people in the media and the media doesn't exploit a good example of what young girls in my race should be doing. It exploits the exact opposite in some aspects such as videos. Many um, individuals who are in videos um, don't give the right example for young girls growing up. We are stereotyped. Like the stereotype black girl, like wears Jordans and has like weave and everything. White girls are expected to wear Uggs and yoga pants and arrow hoodies, carry around Starbucks coffee cups in their hands. Like white girls are supposed to look like the traditional white girl, like Starbucks. Like some people like refer to Starbucks as like, oh, white girl. And if you're like African American, then you don't have to wear weave. And leggings. You're not supposed to go get Starbucks and wear a North Face and Uggs and yogas if you're white. That's just what girls do. These are just stereotypes. Not all black girls wear weave and not all white girls go to Starbucks or wear Uggs. Mm. I feel like they try to live up to what people label them as. If someone labels you as skinny, you're going to either say, no, I'm not skinny, I'm thick, this is that. You're going to say what you feel other people want to hear. I feel like everyone is concerned about what other people think. So if a girl, like, if a girl is called skinny, she's like, no, I'm thick, or no, I'm toned, or a thick will be like, I'm no, I'm toned. I think it just matters of, they think it matters on the opinion of other people. Oh, you see a lot of them going into like the tanning salons or at the gym and trying to do all these things to make themselves look hot. Like girls be in the gym, most not for them, but for other people, and that's not how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be getting healthy for you, and not for other people. Um, you know what, I don't want to be stereotypical, but I think most females that I know per se are like, they get a kick out of being caught thick or they get a kick out of being caught cute. I mean, they just live off compliments. I think it's a new image for girls my age these days. It's like a borderline between like average size and like fat. So if you're like thick, it's like you have like a... The word thick, when we're talking about females, means that they have very nice thighs and are relatively small in the other areas, like meaning the stomach, but have very nice, beautiful thighs. They want to put pictures on Insta and be like teen thick, but then they're like, I want to lose weight, but you should just be comfortable in your body because some people can't control what, how much they weigh or what they look like. Um, no, I don't think the length of a woman's hair affects the beauty of the woman. You know, hair can neither make you nor break you. You can still be beautiful and bald. You can still be beautiful with long hair. The woman can have hair to the middle of her back but have an ugly personality. It depends on who you are. Like, if you have a small face, you can rock a short hairstyle, you still can look nice. Like, I don't think long hair makes you beautiful or short hair makes you beautiful. It just matters on who you are. Your face is what your vocal point is, so your hair is just like an accessory. It doesn't matter how long your hair is because that's not what people are looking at. They're looking at your face. For my preferences, women with longer hair are more attractive to me, but 
your hair length isn't exactly a direct factor into how attractive you are. Very attractive, unless you got them eyebrow piercings, because I don't know you could roll with that. And no, no tramp stamps or tattoos in the private region. I feel that men actually provoke them to promote themselves on social networks. They feel that they have a look to live up to because the high standards that boys have. We'll lure guys in and like all different types of guys and she'll pick out which one she wants. So they can get the guys to look at them because the guys are all just like, yo, look at Jessica Alba, she's so hot. And it's like, I want him to think I'm hot, so that's why they, that's why they do that. I feel that men actually provoke them to promote themselves on social networks. They feel that they have a look to live up to because the high standards that boys have. To get guys' attention, it's a good feeling. <laughs> To like mostly fit in, like I don't personally do it, but like some girls, they just try to like to fit in with other girls. So I think females today to promote their image on social networks. I use Facebook as an example for attention purposes. Maybe at home they're being neglected, and they're using the internet for attention and that love that they don't get at home or from family or from anywhere. I just think it's for attention. They want to look different, be different. What? Iconic stars do really affects women.